man of the series 2011 world cup everything's going for you start of the moment and suddenly this entire talk about the diagnosis i still remember not not easy and, and you've gone further you've not just beaten it you've come back and then you've started uv can so it's a lovely journey but take us through how did you pull through kaise kiya well first of all listening to mr basu's story um obviously i heard about it and then but when you actually listen to it yeah. you can actually relate to what the person has gone through yeah. and um obviously with lisa hearing her story you know it amazes me that she's done it twice she's fought it twice i would say probably the strongest person in the room right now i don't think if i would i have to go through it again how would i fight it so you know it's easier said than done uh yes you don't watch cricket but i watched a lot of your films <laughs> and had a big crush on you when i was younger i knew this so, was coming i thought it's a cancer and i shouldn't be saying these things but i'm an honest guy no but but you're not the only one yeah yeah i'm sure you just ke log ke paas mic nahi hai na mic mere paas hai to main bol sakta hu but coming back to being a survivor in the room being a fighter i think when you talk about when i relate to people on the dais uh, i think uh, it's it's a it's a fight within it's a struggle from inside which only you understand and your family members have gone through like lisa if i would relate to your husband probably would be very proud of that guy that he stood by you when you got diagnosed of cancer again so in our in 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 our families you know my mother has seen me it's like she's giving me birth twice because she was there through the journey and as you said 2011 world cup when we won um probably the highlight of my career um we won the world cup after 28 years i was you know 29 years old i was probably the peak of my career yes. i was speaking towards you know maybe breaking some more records but unfortunately when the doctor told me that i have cancer i'm like this guy is definitely not a doctor because how can i have cancer i'm an athlete who trains 5 6 hours a day i eat well i'm a superior gene which i'm not now understood that and uh, uh life strikes you in a way which you are not expecting and you realize that you're just another human being and you know that obviously i started searching that like the more the more than 8 lakh people in india were going through cancer and then you realize that you know it can happen to you so it took me a while to come come to terms with it and uh, i was i was just i was playing and i was getting worse and then eventually <clears throat> my uh, doctor said that you have 3 to 6 months left you know it's your choice you want to go on the cricket field die there or you know come and get treated i was like i don't i don't mind dying actually because i don't want to stop playing that was my biggest fear and we all have fears i think the 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 fear of cancer is more than actually going through the treatment because it scares you for life and as lisa said that you know she she spoke about it and i thought when i was hiding away from it and when i came to terms with it i was like this is my time to talk about it and you know be inspiration for people out there that i am fighting it i'm sure people in your family are fighting it and you know together we can do this i mean that was the whole reason of me coming uh, up with my foundation that you we can meant was that you we together can fight cancer that was the reason why i wanted to come back and do something for my society and you know realizing that how cancer is harming our society so i think it, got, it through the journey i got a lot of inspiration out of it inspired a lot of people and uh, here i am with the survivors in the room uh, marching forward